Good morning, everyone. In the today's class of this robotics, we would like to discuss regarding the role of artificial intelligence in the robots. Till now, we have gone across the different types of control systems utilized in the case of this robotics for commencement of the automation in the working agitation. Since starting by the utilization of different types of sensors and the programming concept, the different types of tasks that are being done by utilizing these robots we have been discussed and the control systems that are in nominal mode open loop and closed loop and for the better accuracy of results this plc plays a major role that we have been discussed in the previous classes in advance to the plc system we have discussed this pad controllers which is uh, trending in the present days robotic systems for better accuracy or better efficiency levels of the machinery performance. In that, the combinational set of either the proportional integral or proportional derivative or integral derivative initiates the high ratio of performance with respect to the tasks that need to be commenced. In the today's class, the artificial intelligence, so where till now the semi automism plays a major role and complete automization to the robotics involves the step of introducing this onto artificial intelligence. The topics are going to be discussed as the basic introduction related to the artificial intelligence. How the self decisions will be taking based upon the situations that are arising within the industry. And what are the goals of this artificial intelligence the research? What are the different types of techniques that are existing? for the implementation of this artificial intelligence system within the robotics. Indeed, to monitor these techniques, the programming plays a major role. And the program here, the LISP, linear integrated simplified program, plays a major role in the case of this artificial intelligence and robotics. We'll be discussing one by one in depth coming to the basic introduction. In the modern days, uh, robotics technology more advantageous are being implemented than the earliest kind of robots. So it has been characterized in the form of different generational subdivisions. For example, in the generation one, it limits to only the conventional mode of work by giving only the tape, punch tape of as uh, instructions to the machinery unit. There is nothing but a robotic unit. Later on, the semi automism is placing a major role by introducing this a minimal programs or in connectivity of robots with respect to the CAD CAM concept, the designing and uh, manufacturing based upon the designs, the monitoring, 
manufacturing will be getting accessed and if at all the automation system complete automation system which we are having in three different modes that is fixed automation programmable automation and flexible automation so according to this the role of works has been characterized even in the earliest robot was a master slave nothing compared as a tittily manipulator developed to handle only the radioactive material during the time of world war 2 basically it is a necessary device which consists of a uh, master arm and an identical slave arm which is connected to the ropes and pulleys for the commencement of works at the time here the master arm will be moving and the slave would follow the motion hence if at all in the war is there any counter motions has been occurred from the opponents this robots will be getting destroyed and the slave will be in an action active mode and even that's why we will be calling it's an a operating device with a mechanical actions hence we will be strictly calling it as a mechanical device by the invention of this microprocessor or involvement of this microprocessor that which is being indulged in the control system with the program that is being dumped in it necessary task will be getting executed by the different links and joints as the instructions will be programmed in this microprocessor and in the olden days the tasks of robots also limited to a particular level only nothing but just moving the material from one place to the other place such as conveyor belts and lifting of the object that is nothing but the pick and place devices within a particular uh, task itself in environment itself and later on as uh, this computers getting more advanced and working very much rationally when compared to the previous cases with the new developments in the case of this electrical components implementation in the case of this computers which are very much less in economy and less space occupations in olden days if you have been considered as per the charles babbage invented the computer it will be existing in a big room like that in the case of cinema theater like that that is a computer later on the tubes has been reduced and nano tubes has been utilized and minimizing the computer occupation of space and presently it is even minuted due to the latest kind of technology it has been minuted to in minimal dimensions that is our laptops so entire the electrical components has been minuted with respect to a silicon chip or germanium chips utilizing in the motherboard of the computer devices or laptop devices so those are uh, but even the economical ratio also when compared to the economical point of view also it is very much less so due to the incrementing of these technologies at different areas in the computer vision and implementation of uh, the sensors connectivity towards it uh, leads to the concept of uh, this artificial intelligence arising so here 
what is this artificial so the term it is an opposite to the natural so natural in the sense manually that we will be preparing so if you have been taken one of the object which need to be machined on the lathe machine it takes a time period of for example 5 to 10 minutes of time and even the accuracy will be getting limited for measuring this accuracy of the object which is machine that should be minimized to some extent such as the inspection process will be progressed in an another component or another machinery device and accessing the results towards it hence it is taking a large time leading factors in order to decrease this time constraints or time a laggings will be calling this artificial intelligence plays a major role by the incorporation of this additional electrical mechanical and this computer based systems integration as for this artificial intelligence hence it has became presently it has been became a very vital utilization because artificial it is externally based on the externally given inputs the corresponding outputs are being generated but with a confined logic the output need to be achieved so confined logic in the sense a perfect strategy of logics with a perfect strategy of logics the implementation of work should be progressed here intelligence so what is the term of this intelligence now only will be calling that any of the unsolved kind of problems has been solved by somebody else we will be calling him as an intelligent person so in such a case within the industrial sector by the implementation of this new technologies within the existing robots if the functionalities has been done within the less floor space of occupation and high quantity of manufacturing different products even with the less economy when compared to the previous procedure of manufacturing leads to an intelligence of operation hence the industrial manipulators following these kind of new applications in the manufacturing systems within the kind of manufacturing different kinds of processes commencement let us see one of the example that an ag augmented vehicle augmented vehicle or will be calling this automatic guided vehicle automatic guided vehicle here ag we refer to and this agv is needed to move from one point to the other without hitting or obstacle so nominally if you have given the programming to the controller to move this device towards the x axis or y axis or z axis in any of the fixed axis for a particular distance in the sense directly it will be moving from the origin position that is 0 0 0 to something around towards the x axis 10 or 11 for example 2 kilometers the automated guided vehicle need to be moved from its source position for that if at all any of the 
obstacles such as speed breakers or uneven kinds of uh, situations on the reality basis of movement has been cast. So based upon the generated route map direction or type of uh, roads, whether it may be of an uh, in construction roads, if there is any diversions or if there is any speed breakers which doesn't have the before and the new obstacles which has been erased based upon that the work or task need to be commenced by taking the spontaneous decisions that the vehicle should be slowed down at the speed breaker and it should be bypassed with the gear shifting and later on slowly it has to be increasing in its velocity and obviously these all task performance lead to the intelligent application and finally it should be more or find the goal point or target point without any map of that particular area. So that is the concept actually the implementation of this automated vehicle vehicle. So simply for our understanding we'll be calling is as the vehicle which is moving from the source place to the destination place without the driver. So without the driving person the vehicle itself need to exercise based upon the commands given by the operator in the form of the program or in the form of the voice signals. So depending upon the new implementations or new modifications on the roads, it should analyze based upon the route mappings and should be optimized for the best route identification that which will be reaching the target point within the less time period and with good road finishings. And if at all any of the speed breakers or diversions that has been existing that should be followed and appropriate or spontaneous decisions based upon the road conditions or the diversions need to be analyzed by scanning and the decisions should be spontaneously rechanged after moving on for example if you have to go to 10 kilometers and normally in the yesterday's group map there is no any in the same route map there is no any obstructions but today it has been diverted so based upon the spontaneous diversions decisions also should be taken by the robot and that is called the intelligence for reaching that goal even this is nothing but the task planning see as if the humans they will automatically change the direction by riding the either of the two wheeler or four wheeler and will find the new route map based upon the obstacles or diversions that has been erased in that particular route map. So here that particular kind of judgments should be planned by the control system itself for the commencement of works. So for these conditions or in this kind of situations where the exact information will not be available to the 
situations that has been occurred. Considering for problem or for our instance, a rover on Mars may have better information about its surroundings than the human operators on the Earth. See, so if you have the rover which is existing in the space, will be having the complete information of the different countries because it is away from the earth. So, right, he is existing on the Mars and he will be observing the earth and he will be having the entire 180 degrees of the information of the earth and how many countries will be covering in that particular 180 degrees he will be exactly having a particular a drawer will be having the particular information. Hence, this new field of shared control should be erased in which the human and robot will share the controlling parameters. So that is nothing but the artificial intelligence. So here, in that particular situation, the manual involvement is not at all possible. So, traveling of the human beings from Earth towards another planet and identification is not at all possible. For that instance, these robots came into existence for commencement of those kind of actions. Coming to the artificial intelligence point of view, there's a part of characteristics that we associate with intelligence in the computer science, concerned with the human behavior, understanding language, learning, reasoning, solving of the problems, and etc. So here, identification of the characteristics, which will be in mutual contact with respect to the computer guidance system and observing of the human behavior and understanding that conversions with the help of the transducers to the missionary understanding language and getting reasons for it and solving the many kinds of problems. This artificial intelligence aims to develop the systems which will appear to behave intelligently, nothing but something different than the routine type of behavior. Nothing but as like of the manual, manual kind that are being, those are being thinking in a similar way based upon the obtained typical kind of situations or problems, spontaneously the control system should be able to think of it and will work for, have to work for the resolving of the problem that has been erased. That is the implementation of this artificial intelligence. So for that, this integration of different branches such as the mechanical, electrical, computer guidance plays a major role here because the sensors in the electronics will give the feedback by sensing the problem which is being arising in a nearest future and will give the signals to the controller and here the controller is nothing but exercising of the mathematical relations or psychological relations and the CPU here will be having the ALU units and logical arithmetic calculations if at all existing those will be getting calculated and will be compared with respect to the previous data existing within the robot And based upon the analogy of that data, the overall 
task will be getting commenced. And that will be getting exercised with the help of the actuators, which are nothing but the mechanical devices existing in the robots. So those will get into the action for the compensated data. By this, the typical kinds of problems will be getting minuted or decreased to a, the maximum extent, to the maximum extent. So that is nothing but the artificial intelligence and how the implementation of this artificial intelligence necessary. Those are the basic introductionary points of uh, this artificial intelligence in the case of uh, our robotics. Coming to the goals of this artificial intelligence. So why we have to implement this artificial intelligence concepts by the integration of this mechanical components, electrical components, electrical components, and the computer systems, IT based systems, information technology based systems should be confined on an integration. This has to be confined with respect to the mechanical components for its reality work basis. So we'll be having the detailed discussion regarding this uh, artificial intelligence scope or aim. In the development of the machineries for different tasks, which will exhibit the intelligent behavior, is a statement which is having the meaningful nature that artificial intelligence are presently pursued as distinct areas of research. Nothing but has been minuted to some extent only, but not completely in implemented, in implemented conditions without any human involvement. Because one thing we have to remember that only the man is being implementing the robots, but not the robotics implementing the man. So whatever the tasks that are being existing or commencing by the robots, those are the instructions given in the form of a program to the system. So those are the best kinds that are being observed for solving the different kinds of problems in the case of uh, industrial applications and even many of the kinds of problems solving techniques will be utilizing. So what are those kinds of strategies? We'll be having a detailed look. What's the aim of this implementation of this artificial intelligence? How the manual power will be getting decreased to some extent by the implementation of this artificial intelligence? We'll be having a detailed look. For the first one, it is problem solving. Examples of this problem solving systems, nothing but chess playing programs which will be utilizing or which will be playing with respect to the system, which is already programmed in online basis. So it is IOD basis. He will be of the player one and system will be the player two and he will be playing. And it will be given a set of rules and strategies for these systems, which are capable of playing the chess on a proficient level. So maximum level, at a maximum level, it will be getting programmed. This is one of the best example for solving the problem. And not only this, nowadays, 
many of the games such as cricket, soccer, table tennis, hockey, etc. games which are playing in a wide and even some of the problem solving does not necessarily restrict itself to the games. Even for the further which hold uh, for telling the household robot to fetch the papers or any of the tasks and if the instructions has been already given and on the way to the solving of this problem the retrieving of the paper for the retrieving of the particular paper the robot must identify and solve the number of minimal problems and it should be followed in a hierarchical structure that is step by step process and hopefully it will be done in a normal hierarchical level with high efficiency so for that first the robot must identify the possible paths to reach the paper so the paper might be for example, you are existing in the hall and it might be in the storeroom. So the robot should reach to the storeroom and for reaching the storeroom, the n number of routes, possible routes need to be identified and what is the optimum route that is having that should be selected and that uh, then it must deal with the some of the obstacles which are having along with nothing but uh, indeed to move to the storeroom Meanwhile, and so far set will be having adjusted and for that the diversion of food had to be taken place and some other place the dining hall may be having or else two more steps from the hall to the upstairs. One step has to be achieved in order to lift to a one floor and later on different directions need to be characterized and these are all of the actions need to be commenced. And finally, after reaching that particular storeroom, opening of the door, and finally, it must deal with the grasping of the paper and returning towards the same axis. So, same route map. And it should hand over that particular paper to the instructor. And this is the spontaneous actions need to be taken based upon the Meanwhile, situations arised for the robot for getting the paper. And design of this system requires the breakdown of the problems into successfully smaller problems and concerned solutions will begin to become evident. And it requires an assembly task also for get accumulating this overall smaller problems results to the basic constituent. Next thing it is, the problem solvers. It may be able to develop the assembly strategy for getting the n number of solutions that are existing for minimal kind of problems which are arising in between to reach the target that is called strategy solver robotic assembly strategy solver the second factor here it is a natural language. See here, artificial intelligence and here the natural language. See here, natural language in the sense robot should be able to obey the instructions of the human being which he will be giving, he or she will be giving in his or her own language, either it may be in Telugu or English or Hindi or Urdu or Kannada, whatsoever it may be the language it is. 
So the robot should be enabled to understand it. So how it will be able to understand almost all the data should be existing, existed within the system itself in n number of languages. If the commands has been given based upon that, it need to be analyzed. I have to work on it and concerned results need to be generated based upon the existing problems or erased problems in between and to rectify or solve towards the raised problems. In spite of this proliferation of computers into department stores, the many of the people are from uncomfortable dealing with respect to computers because due to the uh, shortage of touch with respect to the systems. And hence, a part that is talking with respect to the computer and its language, other than the utilization of the computers, nothing but typing is not at all possible for the uneducated persons or an illiterate persons. So hence, they doesn't have any idea regarding this typing work. So if the voice comments has been given automatically, it will be having the capability of understanding based upon the given technical terms. And even some of the problems facing in the case of this natural language, researchers are very much wide in nature. That is, the computer will be having the less comfort in understanding the words and concerned meanings to understand that particular words based upon the words and must be able to understand the syntax of the language. Other than that, if at all this has not been confined to maximum extent, but the relationships of the words will be understood. as per the syntax basis. And even in some kind of situations, imagining or imagine is also in the possible meaning. That is nothing but the time flow out of the video. Coming to the point number three, the expert systems. The development of these systems that will appear to behave as the human experts in many of the fields, particularly in the industrial sectors, that the task will be getting performed, even the heaviest task will be getting performed by the robots, where the 10 people can do that particular work can be progressed by only a single robot. So there's a greater advantage by the implementation of these robots, which will affect the decrementing of the labor. And even this expert system can be recommended for tests to perform the, and ask the appropriate questions until it arrives the particular conclusion related to the problem that has been erased. And presently, these techniques or expert systems are uh, utilizing in a rational scenario due to, as per the circuits has been designed for performing the medical diagnosis and explaining the reasons related towards it and collecting the data and even improving the knowledge with respect to the experience level also. And we can say that our ATM is also 
ATM. Anytime money, missionaries are also the expert systems which are exercising the task based upon the given inputs by the external sources. And fourth one it is the learning. It's one of the attributes of intelligence which is having the ability to learn the experience. See here commonly we'll be having a particular problems, identifying particular problems and the earliest solutions will be input in the form of program to the systems. And, but a date limited progress also has been made towards it instead of its experience. That also will be occurred only at some times. So that will be coming under the learning conditions towards the robots. The next point here it is the vision. Many of the concepts employed in commercial vision systems results in artificial research. So the major aim is nothing but artificial intelligence vision research is to permit the systems to perform scene analysis. So what is going to be happened based upon the given inputs? Nothing but the estimations levels, which includes the automatic programming, hardware development, and predictive reasoning. Next, the interference. So it is a very important and defining term which will be able to deal with respect to the incomplete and uncertain informations because due to the technical problems arised here, arising, the halting conditions or intermittent conditions will be happening while the execution of some of the problems. So at that particular time, this interference will be giving in the form of a signals to the user or to the analyst person in the form of a siren or in the form of a LEDs display. So the best example here it is when the person is moving or holding a task such as pick and place of kind of conditions from the data or in a conveyor belt which is having after getting manufactured different dimensions products are being occurred so in two different products it should be separated one to one side and one to two left side so identification leads to a major role so if at all the identification has been not done simultaneously it will be producing a light situation that i can't identify the difference between these two objects or it can produce a siren that something i can't be identified like that it's a signal for its interference next note is an search the artificial intelligence Search means the efficiently finding the answer. See here, upon search only, the identification will be occurred. If at all identification has been occurred, then only the objects will be getting separated based upon the input instructions. So if at all not has been occurred, So what is the best move? It will not be identified furtherly. So for the commencement of this, it should be confined to a particular limitation. We can usually see in one of the application also. So, so for suppose playing with the games, while playing the game, several moves are possible. For example, you're taking the chess, several moves are possible. 
but what is the best move without uh, getting affected from the opponent has to be preferred majorly so such kind of agitations futuristic search is essential in the case of this artificial intelligence so these are the different kinds of steps need to be followed in the case of or implementation of this artificial research within the robotics and what are the different kinds of techniques that are being existing we will be discussing in the next class so in the today's class the basic introduction why this artificial intelligence need to be implemented in the robotics and what are the goals of this artificial intelligence so we are having the seven different points here person search interference vision learning expert systems natural language and problem solving so these are the seven different steps existing in the case of this goals of this artificial research so the problem identification and resolving technique resolving or identification of problems has been discussed so far and resolving techniques will be seeing in the next class thank you